2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. A sharp and confident looking Raptors team coming down the tunnel earlier. We'll see if that confidence carries over onto their home floor. The skyline of downtown Toronto really looking wonderful tonight. It's a beautiful evening here on the shores of Lake Ontario. It's Friday night, and live on 2K Sports, we're going to bring you the NBA in all its excitement. Kevin Harlan here along with analysts Greg Anthony and Steve Smith, and we'll be hearing from D.A. along the sideline all game long. D.A., take it away. Thank you, Kevin. Well, two years after their first title, the Raptors last season missed the playoffs for the first time in eight years. Fred Van Vliet said people are overlooking us again, which is not a bad place to be in. Kevin, this front office finds diamonds in the rough, so it's only a matter of time before they're back in the mix. I agree, David. They are a quality organization. They always find a way. Thank you. Here are the starters for Los Angeles. The team leaders, George and Leonard, are the wings. Post tandem for him, Morris and Zubac. And it's Jackson in a pan for the Raptors. Inside for him, it's Barnes and Siakam. Guard spots filled by Van Vliet and Trent. And it's Ananobi in at the small forward spot. Siakam. You know, Steve, above the rim play always is captivating to watch. We should see some of that tonight. Yes, Kevin. A lot of watch your head because these guys can fly. I'm glad I'm watching and not trying to slow these guys down. Excellent concentration from Paul George, overwhelming the aggressive defense with his strength and determination. On the wing, Barnes. Poked loose. Trent up top. Goes up again. And a little luck that time, but it drops. I like how Fred Van Vliet stays patient. Eyes up, finds the breakdown in the defense. Jackson drives in, and the shot goes down. We play just over a minute here in the first. Fred passes to Barnes. Now, here's Trent. He's covered closely, banked in off the glass. Yeah, three for four now. I like the pace for them on offense. And what you get with Barnes, Greg, tremendous versatility. And he gets others involved. He plays great defense, has an excellent feel for the games. He doesn't have to score to impact winning. But if you need points from him, the young fella can provide that as well. Now here's Barnes. Back to Trent. Pass to Barnes. No good with the layup. And it's the Clippers' ball. Here's Leonard. He can't get that one to fall. Good D by Siakam. And Van Vliet. Here we go. Plays it up and banks it in. Love the strength on that drive by Fred Van Vliet. He is tough and he's aggressive. Jackson passes to Zubac. It's good. The assist this time from Jackson. Yeah, going hard to the rack, making a statement here early on. Well, this is his game. Be proactive offensively. Put the defense back on his heels. Siakam trying to free himself up. Trent gets the bucket. Trent got six. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Wow, that's a defensive breakdown. Can't do that against good scores. Now here's Jackson. It's George on the wing. And it's off from three-point ring. And an OB in the corner. Takes a three. Traps in the tray. Oh, this is the kind of start they were hoping for. Clippers trail by seven. And George, here we go. And it's Paul George with the finish. Insane move by Paul George. A high flyer who can create in midair. Nice job capturing the moments on the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. That's a good opportunity, but he needs to go up a little stronger, in my opinion. And the dunk by Jackson. And that's a special play coming from the one spot. You know, his passing can take a backseat for that dunk. Wow. 
It just shows you the versatility. This guy can do a lot of different things for you. Woo! Wee! Ananobi, good. This is what you already like about OG Ananobi's game. Has a good feel for where to get his shots along the perimeter. Back Not watching the line there. Ball. That'll be a backcourt violation. Achua, he's checked in for Toronto. The Clippers also changing it up. Robert Covington's checked in for Zubats. And it's Batum in for Marcus Morris. Van Fleet against Jackson. And there's the foul. It's on Nicholas Batum. That is his first foul of the game. And some changes here for the Raptors. Akai Lucas checked in. And Flynn subbed in for Fred Van Vliet. The Clippers also changing it up. Norman Powell comes in for George. Mann subbed in for Reggie Jackson. Clippers with the ball. Following the miss by Pascal Siakam. Two points. That one goes. And it's coming easy for them right now. Five baskets in a row in the paint. Flynn against Covington. Here's Siakam. No good on that one. Great D that time from Leonard. And it's Leonard with the ball. He'll bring it up for Los Angeles. Four-point game. Attacking the rim with aggression. Norman Powell putting pressure on the interior D with his driving and finishing abilities. Here's Flynn. Tips it up. Siakam on the phone. Siakam's got his second bucket of the night. Oh, and a nice job of turning that miss into two points on the tip end. Hustle points, I believe they call them. Hustle points right there. Here's Mann. Leonard on the wing. Clippers moving the ball around. And here we go. Fast break. Flynn's got it. And that one, good. And you have to credit Ananobi. He's put in the work to become a better playmaker. Ananobi against Leonard. There's 57 seconds left in the first quarter. Pass to man. Five on the clock. Leonard attacking. Makes it off the glass. A beast on the dribble drive. You see Kawhi right there. Undeterred by contact. Raptors leading by four. Passes to Mikhailu. Siakam against Covington. Mikhailuk up again. Siakam on the phone. Siakam's got six points. Yeah, off to a strong start here early. Six points off second chance buckets. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Leonard attacking. That one goes in. The plan of attack is obvious. Get the ball inside and go strong to the rim. Siakam inside. Defended by Batum. And there's the foul. It's on Nicholas Batum. That'll be his second foul of the game. Clippers substitution. 16 seconds left in the first quarter. Here's Flynn. And the shot is long. Once he gets the ball there, you expect him to capitalize. That was a missed opportunity. Here's Coffey. A three-pointer off the mark. The scoring fast and furious as we end the first quarter. Raptors lead by four. And we'll be back with you for the start of the second quarter when we return. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And let's take a moment, guys, to get your take on the scoring so far for the Raptors. It looks like they're ready to run today, fellas. They keep getting out on the break whenever they can. Yeah, also, though, they've done a good job of pounding the offensive glass for second chance points. And a chance here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor. All fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter. So for Toronto right now, OG Ananobi is out there with Young. Then there's Ken Birch, and it's Flynn in at the point. And the Raptors with the ball. The Clippers get in the bucket. Flynn the pass to Ananobi. Six on the shot clock. Toronto needs to get off a shot. A nice shot by Flynn. Flynn's got five points so far. Not too much respect shown to him by the defender. Platoon passes to Mann. 
Back to Batum, and it's out of bounds. The Raptors will take it the other way. Just didn't get his hands up in time on that one. They weren't on the same page there. Big group substitution here for the Clippers. Zubat is checked in for Robert Covington. Marcus Morris comes in for Nicholas Batum. George is checked in for Norman Powell. And Reggie Jackson subbed in for Terrence Mann. Looking to make plays for others. We've seen this from him all night. There has been an emphasis on ball movement. And he's been a major catalyst. Hey, dunks aren't always for the big fella. A serious power move from the point. Forget just landing in. He wanted to make a statement. And Steve, along with everything else he does, Van Fleet's effectiveness as a playmaker is key for this team. It is, Kevin. He makes great reads. He makes the right pass. And he doesn't turn the ball over. And here in the second with about a minute and a half gone by. Back to Birch. Down to five on the shot clock. Baseline try. No good that time. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. Here's Jackson. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And Van Vliet picks one up. Aggressive on the drive. That's going to result in some free throws for Jackson. Reggie Jackson can still provide scoring. Maybe not at the 19 points per game level he once did, but he can still make an impact. And the Raptors making a change here. Boucher is checked in. And a switch here also for the Clippers. Kennard's checked in. Here's Barnes. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. And Reggie Jackson. Steve, as you said, not the big score he once won. He's got a reduced role, Kevin, on this team right now. But he can still get you a bucket when needed. Credit to Reggie Jackson for staying ready at all times. Jackson drives in. Great D that time from Van Vliet. Here's Trent. They get it again. Birch. And plenty of contact on the shot. So, two free throws coming up. There's the foul against the Clippers. The Raptors have been perfect in the line so far, albeit just two for two. And both free throws good for Birch. And down the road, Greg, which current player might make for the best coach? Well, I'm always partial to the point guard. And if you're looking for leadership, man, Chris Paul, Mike Conley, those guys I think are destined to coach. I think LeBron would be a great one as well, but I got a sneaky suspicion he just tried to hold the team. As we've gotten closer to halftime, their style has become more and more physical. At the line for your Barnes, it's in both. Clippers trail by 10. The drive by Jackson. And he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. The pass to Trent. And here's Boucher. Van Vliet on the wing. Guarded by Jackson. Van Vliet can't get it to go. Can't fault the play call, even though he could convert. That's a good shot. And wait to finish and cut into that lead a little bit. Yeah, but look at the, ba the basket, guys, still shaking. George against Barnes. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. The shot, no good. To the middle. Let's go. It's hauled in by the Raptors. They've led by as much as 10. And the call will be against Luke Kennard. That'll be his second foul of the game. And the next one puts him in the bonus. The Raptors making a switch here. Siakam's checked in. Kawhi Leonard's checked in for the Clippers. Trent finds Van Vliet. Can't hit that one. And the Clippers will go the other way with it. From deep, George. Barnes grabs the miss. Raptors leading by six. Pass to Trent. Tries again. Boucher. It's good on the putback. Boucher's got his first points of the game. Challenging the defense at the rim. Something he does very well. Excellent tip in. 
Jackson passes to Leonard. Shot from the low block. And no good. Trying to use the glass. And Siakam has got the ball here for Toronto. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sideline. Thank you, Kevin. Paul George has taken some heat in recent years. He says people get so caught up in what other folks think. I'm Paul George. I don't care to be anybody else. I am who I am. You love it or you don't. Simple as that. Guys with his play on the floor, he has answered all of his critics. He is certainly playing at an elite level. EA, thank you. Van Vliet can't get it to go. Trying to take advantage of soft defense. He might have gotten over eager. Kennard trying to bring loose. That one goes. Count it. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now. Especially on the interior. So timeout called here. The first for Toronto. Well, it's a player's league, but certainly coaching has its place. Yeah, if that weren't the case, you wouldn't see so many coaching changes in the offseason. Both teams deciding to change it up. Raptors leading by four. Outside Flynn. Let's it go from 11. The putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Adding to this lead, he's been dependable and consistent at the offensive end. There's Covington, and he uses the glass on the lane. And the crisp passing has opened things up for them offensively. 46 seconds left in the first half. Siakam gets hauled in by Los Angeles. Two for one opportunity here if they want it. And no doubt, Kevin, if I'm them, I go for Kawhi one. on his drives. Kawhi can be just devastating, completely overwhelming the D. 36 seconds left to play in the first half. There's Siakam. He's got eight. He's off on that one. Good D by Covington. Off the mark once again. Terrible quarter for him thus far. Powell kicks to Leonard. Pass to Mann. Leonard against Ananobi. Five to shoot. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. He's a soft-spoken leader. Kawhi Leonard prefers to let his play do the talking for him. It's his first trip to the line. Leonard at the line for two. That one drops. He ties it up. Money from the stripe. He does a great job night in and night out. From deep three-point range. And the last second attempt doesn't fall. It's all tied in Toronto. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Here with Ty Lu. Good rhythm for your offense in the first half. What did you like about the start? Uh, moving the basketball, taking the right shot, making the right play. We make the extra pass, we're a tough team to beat. And you were sure tough in the first half, Coach. Thanks. Back to you. Thank you, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of action following halftime. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back, everyone, to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Some big-time action already in this one. I'm Ernie Johnson, along with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. The first quarter for the Raptors was fairly even. They had a four-point advantage at the end of the period. They couldn't hold on to the slim lead they had at the start of the second quarter and headed into the locker room with the game all knotted up. And taking a look at the Raptors, Kenny, what'd you see out there? Love to see a team grind for those offensive boards. They're doing the dirty work and converting those extra possessions into points. It's got to be demoralizing for the defense at this stage. Shaq, what was your takeaway on the Clippers? They were really efficient, great approach offensively. Their shot selection was first rate. They were always working hard to get good looks. That can't change in the second half. They need to be just as well organized as they have been so far. And that'll do it for our halftime report. Stay tuned for the second half 
About to get underway. We've got second half action for you, and if the next couple quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. Kawhi Leonard really has his fingerprints all over this one. Yeah, and just look at the numbers from the first half. He has been very efficient, and it's not like everything's been at the rim. There's been a number of jump shots along the way. Checking out the group for Teron Liu to start the second half. The guard spots filled by Jackson and George. Leonard and Morris are up in the forward positions. And it's Zubats in at the center position. Jackson misses. Toronto's gone three of five from beyond the arc so far tonight. And along with production, this team really thrives on Van Vliet's leadership. He sets a great example with his toughness, his dedication, and his teammates believe in him and believe they're going to win partly because of him. Van Vliet looking around. And that's a foul. It's called on Reggie Jackson. That's his first foul. First team foul. Van Vliet left side. Over Jackson. Stolen by Zubac. Leonard inside. He's guarded by Ananobi. And it's Leonard with the jam. That was with force by Kawhi. Dunking it over the defense and looking unstoppable. Now here's Barnes. Nice shot from 10 feet out. Barnes has got six. Some guys just understand how to generate points. He's one of them. Jackson passes to Zubac. The ball out goes of out of bounds. Last out touch of by Siakam. An outstanding defensive play to earn the mobile one block. And that is a huge block. Given how close this game is, a stop like that was right on point. Ananobi against Leonard. Oh, and the jam Kawhi by Leonard. Leonard. So explosive with the dunk. Kawhi Leonard gets up quick to slam it down. His shot was hindered by that momentous mobile one block. And sharp instincts on D there. Just timing. When to rise up and swat that one away. Barnes can't get it to go. Very cold start to the second half. One for five. Looking for some continuity. Outside Leonard. Just five on the clock. The Clippers need to get off a shot. Zubac trying to break loose. Paul George. A nice shot by George. A reliable jump shooter. Paul George's accuracy only goes up when he catches in rhythm. Passes it to Van Vliet. Just under two and a half minutes into the third quarter now. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Van Vliet's got his second basket. They didn't have much of a problem getting the ball into the post that time. Outside Leonard. Second shot opportunity. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. It's going to be on Siakam. Los Angeles shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. And one of the highlights last year for this group was the fact that they were so efficient from the charity strike. That's a huge factor. Ken Burge has checked in for Toronto. Young comes in for Barnes. Van Vliet against Jackson. That one doesn't go. Good D by Covington. Their game plan needs to change if they're going to get out of this hole because he is just not there offensively. Zubac kicks to Jackson. Now the dish to George. Here's Zubac outside for Jackson. And here's George for three. It's tipped. Coffee passes to Jackson. 
George. That's a two-pointer. Tries it again. He lays it in. George has got the lead up to nine now for Los Angeles. With his great length and skill, Paul George has no trouble getting points in the paint. Now the pass to Ananobi. Good, and Van Vliet gets the assist. Van Vliet's got five assists in the game. Jackson looking around. Outside, George. That one falls through. It's his sixth make from the floor this game. Now six for ten. In this period, they're feeding him, and he's feeling it. Van Vliet wide open, and the Raptors hit again from deep. You have to respect Fred's range. If not, he'll make you pay. Jackson against Van Vliet. Outside, George. Over Trent. George, no good. Raptors trail by five. Young pass to Birch. Can't hit from in close. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost identical. Jackson kicks to George. From outside, off the mark. They time it right. They can end this quarter with a two for one. And that's how you want to end the quarter. Birch, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And you know what? You allow a guy to get right to the rim like that. That's your only option. The Raptors have been excellent at the free throw line here today. A flawless six for six. And up around 82% as a team a season ago. So they know how to make the most of those opportunities. Here's Mann, covered by Flynn. 24 seconds left to play in the third. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Kennard's got five now. When Kennard is that set up, he almost can't miss. Such a skilled shooter. And so it looks like the Raptors will retain possession here. Now the lineup for your Raptors. Chris Boucher. Outside Flynn. To the wing right side. And again, no good by Toronto. And a great show through three quarters as we enter the fourth. Who will carry the day? The Clippers on top, up by six. We'll be back shortly, live from Toronto. And I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. There's Boucher out there with Barnes. Then it's Fred Van Vliet. Then there's Achua. And it's Makai Luke in at the shooting guard. So that's the five in the game for Toronto. I'd love to see them impose themselves a little more on the back door. That's a great way to find confidence. Always a surefire way to get back in the game. Now here's Paul. Back to Covington. Four on the shot clock. Matum finds Kennard. Sinks the triple. Kennard's got the lead up to nine now for the Clippers. We've seen Kadar steadily increase his three-point shots. Terrific accuracy here. Here's Barnes. Goes back up. And Covington sends it back. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Covington. Siakam is checked in for Chris Boucher. Marcus Morris is checked in for the Clippers. Leonard comes in for Luke Kennard.
Here's Barnes. Inside, Achua. The dunk by Achua. Oh, forget about going for the long-range bomb to cut into that lead. Just take it to the hoop, my friend. And how brilliant throwdown. Now here's Leonard. Siakam pulls it in. Siakam's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Powell against Barnes. Batum grabs the miss. And another miss. Oof. He's having a really ugly game. Yeah, about as ugly as you can have, you're right. Stolen by Van Vliet. Swiped away. Leonard attacking, and he gets the bucket. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. And Kawhi, one of the top players in the league. The question for many is if he's in the top three or not. I don't know, G.A. I think it's pretty hard to name more than three players who are definitively better than Kawhi. I'll say this. He's an elite talent. Now here's Van Vliet. And he lays it straight in. After a lackluster first half, he's taken charge offensively. We'll see how the defense responds. Leonard against Barnes. Left side, Leonard. Shoots over Van Vliet. Just five to shoot. Powell for three. And it's out of bounds. The Raptors will take it the other way. French checked in for Toronto. The Clippers also changing it up. Ivica Zubats has checked in for Nicholas Batum. And Reggie Jackson subbed in for Terrence Mann. Shoots from the elbow. Yep, it goes. And the Clipper lead is cut down to just six points and the bucket from Barnes. Easy look for mid-range. He won't miss many of those. Lazy effort defensively. And if you let the little guy get airborne before you slide over to block him out, he can and will embarrass you on the board. And it's Norman Powell with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. And the Clippers making a change here. George has checked in. Here's Van Vliet. And again, Toronto no luck. And that is the exact type of opportunity this offense is looking to create. You know, if you get the ball to the right guy in the right spot, more often than not, you're coming away with points. Now here's Leonard. Following the miss by Fred Van Vliet. Shot clock at six. Leonard dishes to Powell. And again, no good by the Clippers. Raptors trail by six. For three, Van Vliet, he gets that one to drop. He's now 5-12. I don't know what Coach told him at halftime, but he is shooting the lights out right now. Powell, the pass to Zubats. Shoots from the right block and stolen by Barnes. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. Van Vliet outside. And Zubats picks up the foul. And that'll be his third foul so far. That's his third personal foul. Second team foul. Pass to Ananobi. And here is Van Vliet. Shot clock at five. To tie it up. And they'll get another chance. Wow, another opportunity. Just everything going their way. Pretty much the story of this game. Mans checked in for Norman Powell. And a wide open look for Siaka. It's rebounded by Leonard. Leonard's got six rebounds now in the game. We've got 155 left in the game. Takes it inside. And contact on the shot. So he'll be shooting free throws here. And Van Vliet picks one up. Second a triple drive. Yet another two in Leonard's extensive arsenal. Earns him a trip to the line. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Clippers. 
Anytime you get as many points from the paint as they have, you know you've got a good thing going. Yeah, I mean, they've also done a great job of playing in space, getting out in transition every opportunity. Kennard, he's checked in for the Clippers. Now here's Barnes. No good off the back of the rim. George with the ball. And now by Barnes. Outside Leonard. 130 left in the fourth quarter. Six to shoot. Basket number eight is all good. He's attempted 12 shots. The offensive game of Leonard continues to get better. He's just so efficient on this end. A drive by Barnes. An easy two points on the layup. Barnes has got four points this quarter. And you want him taking big shots for you in big moments. That one was as easy as it gets. And I don't think he expected to get that good of a look. Poor communication defensively. Leonard, the pass to Zubac. Leonard against Ananobi. And he overshot that one, missing. Toronto's gone 6 of 11 when they're taking the three-point shot tonight. Fairly respectable. Elevating his playmaking over time. Siakam recognizes when his teammates have clean looks. And George, here we go. That's to Kanaan. On the wing, George. Big points out, as the stakes out. rise, so does George's impact on the game. Toronto calls timeout. With the timeout. They trail by five. 32 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Let's take a look at the New Balance player of the game, Reggie Jackson. And the way he's made his mark with his work inside, he's just been a slasher tonight. Always moving, getting to the basket at will, and just seemingly taking advantage of a D that was reluctant to get in his way. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Kevin, I was able to listen in on what Nick Nurse told his team. He told him we've got to make the most of every chance right now. This is a winnable game, but we've got to make plays. As we see if they can come back. Thank you, David. And that's a lesson for the D. Fight harder on the glass. Reason why, lack of focus, lack of communication, which led to second chance points. And now they decide to foul intentionally. Had to foul and on that occasion to stop the clock. That's the enemy in this situation. And that hurts as he doesn't get the first one to fall. They're trying to focus now on the second. You know, no one produces like Paul George does. He elevates your team's abilities in any situation. Toronto calls timeout. They're down by four. 19 seconds left in the fourth. Here's Trent. And again, no good by Toronto. They're going to prolong the game here with an intentional foul. You have to foul, but I'm sure they would have liked to foul someone different. He drops the first one, and that puts them up by five. Kawhi Leonard. He's off on the free throw, unable to get that second one to drop in. Here's Trent. Off the mark there with a the three-point shot. And an intentional foul right there. Pascal Siakam. That's his second personal foul. So the first one drops, and that increases their lead to six. At the line for the Clippers, Kawhi Leonard. At the line for two. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a seven-point game. Five seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Ananobi. No good. Enters the league as a great defender. Now Leonard's an elite defender. Multiple Defensive Player of the Year awards. So the Clippers with the win. They seem to relish their role as the bad guy here tonight. Yeah, you know, Kevin, I sense that as well. I mean, they really did feed off all of that negative energy this crowd was directing at them. I mean, they turned it around and used it as motivation to close out a significant win. 
And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Kawhi. The defense, of course, keyed in on slowing you down tonight, but your teammates stepped up. How important is that for you? Uh, it feels great, you know. Uh, that's what a championship team is about. You know, when your star is not going or they double teaming you, then you got other guys knocking out big shots like they did tonight. The others came correct, man, and you got the dub. Congrats. Back to you. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now.